Hello, I am Kata. I am the human sent from Twitch, and I'm here for part three. Finally, 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 finally. I've been putting this off because work and Fortnite and other shit, but we are finally back for part three of the second playthrough of S Cyberlife. Cyberlife's favorite androids. Detroit become human. Uh, also, I just started this up again, uh, and Chloe is asking for another survey. Uh, I don't know if this is the exact same survey as last time, so I'm just gonna click. Uh, I'm just gonna click yes just to see if it is. Who's your favorite character in Detroit? Okay, it's not. It's a different. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I like all three of them, uh, but I think if I had to pick, it would be Marcus. Was there a moment in Detroit that resonated with you personally? Uh, was there a moment in Detroit that resonated with you personally? Hmm. Well, it resonated with me uh, <coughs> because of the whole racism issue, but except against androids, which I see all the time here. Uh, but that's not for me personally, because that never really happened to me personally. Uh, I'll go occasionally. What was the toughest choice you faced in Detroit? Accepting Alice's identity with Kara, being pacifist of all. Now that was easy because I wanted pacifist. Decided to shoot. None of these were difficult. I think if I had to pick, it would be this, even though it wasn't difficult. Uh, bec because it was either shoot Chloe and get information from Kamsky. Uh, or don't shoot her, which I didn't want to shoot her. Would you continue... Uh, oh, yes, I already did all this. This was the old survey. How many times you found it? Yeah, old survey. 47% prefer Connor. Boo! Was there a moment of person? Yeah, occasionally many. Occasionally. Being pacifist or violent. Cool. Can I continue? Welcome with my... to the Detroit experience. Continue. Also, I should be getting... Um, Outlast 2 this week, which I'm very excited for. Very, very excited for. Nothing like a good horror game, especially at night. <sighs> These loading screens, I swear they get longer and longer. Come on, let me play the game! Why can't I play the game? Alright. I'm just trying to remember where we left off. Ah, oh, yes. The shipping docks. This is the mission where it has that decision uh, where if you accept it, it this leads to another mission. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Sapporo. Watch out. No. 
Now what do we do? I'll find another way. We think about our plan of attack. This is where I um, also abandoned North last time. It said follow North, but I ended up following, I think it was Simon. Oh, we're gonna race? We're gonna race? Last time when I followed Simon, you just run around. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. My name is Marcus. I'm the android sent by Jericho. Woo! Parkour skills. Oh yes, we're gonna take out this pesky motherfucker. Cyber life warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. I'll take care of this. Reconstructing. Alright, so run up. Which way do we go? Run up this way, didn't we? And then we went up this way. Nope, too high. Oh no! Oh, that's right, you gotta crawl over. Or just swing across, compute. And then tackle it for the wind. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. I find you very much. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Uh, oh god, that's right. You were trespassing on private property. Your oh, yeah. presence constitutes a level two infraction. Oh no. I will notify security. Oh, don't do that. John! John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Oh god. Uh, run away. No, grab and hold. You coming with me, boy? John! I need your help. John! Oh, we are so gonna attack this guy. Attacker! Because we are doing the violent path now. Oh, did you like that? Kneel before Android. <laughs> uh, Josh is not happy. Let's finish up and get out of here. That's like that's it. <laughs> no one says a blood. word. We still don't have enough. They're just like, well, that happened. <laughs> Check the 
big crate. Fresh batch of AP seven hundreds. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? I freed them last time, so this time I'm just gonna leave them. They're not good enough to join us. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. Yeah, now we're taking him with us to stop. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back. It's too dangerous. Except he comes with us. Yeah. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance, it's too risky. Hell no, we're gonna get the key. This Wait is the here. little mini mission. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. I walk alone. You stay there, North. North. North and south. Alright. Hello. Oh, so cute. Cute enough to rip my face off. Sneaky. Okay, we gotta be stealthy. Got so that must be the key there. Damn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Oh, what am I doing? Could be the weather. What am I they doing? Like storms. What am I doing? Yeah. I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. I want the gun. Already. Yes, I want the gun. Nice and easy, Marcus. Take the gun. We're killing humans now. Yes, the dogs are barking at me. Yep, and the other gun. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice. Shoot. Can I shoot? Please let me shoot. Hey! Hey! Dude! I think it's fucking because it's a handicap you can take me? Oh hell no. Uh, tackle. Oh god, did I pick wrong? Ah, let me go! Ah, I fucked that up. Oh god. Snap his neck. Snap his neck. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, I fucked that up. Shoot him, shoot. Please shoot. That could have gone smoother. Definitely could have gone smoother. Can I let the dogs out? Oh. Okay, we better just go. We'll just go. Did you get it? Nice. 
Nice. Get inside the truck. Hurry, get in. Let's go, let's go. A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We load. got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. But we're not free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. With force. What they don't want to give, we take. By force. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! yeah. I got blood on my hands. Spare parts. <clears throat> I still missed a few shit. Enter the room. Find a key. Ah, find key. Threaten guards. So what leads to this outcome? A third outcome. Back to Jericho. Security android appears. Grab android and hide. Oh uh, yeah, I should have done something different. Oh fuck, I forgot all about it. Because if you grab the android and hide. <clears throat> uh, sorry, no, I meant if I picked any of the other three, it could lead to Marcus Spill's blood. Which I've already done, but then if I picked one of these, it opens up these two. These two opens up. So the alarm sounds, run to the fence, back to Jericho. And then one finishes there and one finishes here. Interesting. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Sure, this is the place. It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. 
Let's get going. <coughs> this is the bloody mission I stuffed up last time, and I lost the deviant. That's not gonna happen this time. Sexiest androids in town. Get now I know why mate. you insisted on coming here. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Oh boy. What are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. Hey, buddy. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Yeah, Tubby. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? Our job? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Like wasting your time. No, we're not. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. Right. Right, right, right. Do, do all this shit again. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I'm gonna puke again. Alright. Hank, Hank, please. Get out of the way. I really, I hope I catch this frickin' deviant this time around. I frickin' did such a poor job last time. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. That didn't prove anything, though. Uh, I can't remember what I picked here. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. to know what happened is he is he dead no he's just asleep you're a murderer you kill him no no it wasn't me tell me what happened he started hitting me come on, again come on, come on, come on. and again i think you killed that just... man if it wasn't you i don't know i wasn't shut down i I didn't see what anything. else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I I I, I don't know. I, I don't I, I don't know. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? Oh, you did. So 
there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. Heck, don't it couldn't think. go outside it's dressed not your like strong that suit. unnoticed. It might still be here. <laughs> if you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna Hold go on. ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. I'm still trying to keep that relationship with Hank strong. Because I really don't want to make kill himself again. No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk about <laughs> I wonder if I can ask someone else for their fingerprints. It just says need human, it doesn't say need Hank. No. Once. Bro, can I borrow your fingerprints? Two, three months back, man. Same model. Nope. Just vanished me or find out what happened. Your fingerprints? Uh, probably don't have any CCTV. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. I want to buy this android for the night. Can you please help Tracy? me? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Expense account. Purchase confirmed. Evil Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Okay, there we go. I think it was 20, was it 20 minutes I had with this? <clears throat> it saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find oh, another witness. Two minutes, yeah. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell you changed your mind. Uh, let's try this one. This better be worth it. Yes, I was this one. Alright. Back and turn back into the club. Okay. Once it gets to like the red it room. It saw the blue haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. Please tell me you saw something. That's her there, isn't it? Yeah. Red room. And then you would have seen. Should have seen her come into the red room. If you're looking in the right fucking direction. Which you weren't. Oh no. Oh, no. no. I lost its track again. Oh, there she is. Blue room. Okay, okay. This is the blue room. Oh wait! Oh god, this won't be it. She's, in... She's not even. I didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. He's in a this different room. This gonna be the most expensive investigation of my career. Come on, come on! 
around. Are you serious? No. I lost its track again. I've spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. There she is. Ah, and then she's not actually in here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, left the room. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. Did I search this guy already? I can't remember. Oh yeah, it was. Oh my god. You didn't see anything. You made a mistake somewhere. Oh yes. Is that her there? Yeah. Flit through the staff door. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking it. This is crazy. That's right, Hank. We're gonna get the bitch. Wait. I'll take it from here. Yes. Life of an android. Sex android, Hank. Woo, magazine. I wish it wouldn't have got this one. The first immortals are among us. Boring. The new superpowers. RA9 again. Who I still know nothing about, even after I've played a full playthrough. Hank, please. Hank! Hank! You've literally cornered me here! Jesus. People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. Cook what you want, they screw when you want. And you don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. Uh they're long gone. Search for. Tr I already found the blue blood. Okay, so it's going this way. Where 
Where's the bloody... Oh, blue hair Tracy. Oh, shit. Don't move. Oh, God. Oh. <coughs> ah, unhand me, bitch. Oh, God. You're right, Hank. Oh shit. Ah, uh, Hank. Pull. Hate the. Oh. Shit. Throw it. <laughs> Just throw an android into another android. Uh. Here. See, she keeps going back to the other one. Oh shit. Hank, a little help, please. <coughs> Ow. Still gonna hit me. Shouldn't have attacked me. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Self-defense. I was fearing for my life. I just told you why. Why did you kill her? She attacked. I am a cop. It is what I She do. had nothing to do with any of this. Well, it's your fault for getting her involved. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. See? Just what I was doing. Defending myself. I wanted I to live. You. I wanted to live too. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Exactly why I shot Forget them. about the humans, the smell of their sweat, and their dirty words. Oh, we're not all that bad. But you, you've taken her away from me. So, are you gonna attack me now? Are you gonna... I love her. I loved her. Oh God. Oh god. My god. No! What did that make Hank mad? No, I'm trying to keep Hank happy. Why did I get red arrowed for that? Son of a bitch. Mission failed. Ah, oh, yeah. Last time. I failed the frickin' mission. Leave crime scene. Find an android eyewitness. Aggressive approach. Search for blue-haired deviant. There's something else I could have done there. There's something else I could have done that ends right there. Also, 
deviance attack win fight so if that's lose fight that leads to something which then leads to something down here This is where he shoots me as well last time. This is where I got shot in the bloody head. Is this debrief with Hank? Yeah, debrief with Hank. This is where I bloody... I went to debrief with him last time. He just shot me in the head. For no freaking reason. I think he might do the same here as well because I got red arrowed with Hank during that fight after I shot the deviants. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Oh, shit, I think I picked that last time. Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I can't remember what I picked last time. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. I'm just trying to imagine a, a drunk Connor. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, Cheers, Hank. in different places. Well, there must be some link. I'm pretty sure I said RA9 last time. It could be a hardware problem. Maybe a defective bio component? Well, I don't know much about bio components, but I bet that's not the fucking reason. Okay. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed. Oh, is he coming around love. on the idea? They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel no, anything. No, I, I don't want to what say that. What about you, Connor? <coughs> you look you. human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm an android sent by Cyberlife. Oh, God. I'm a machine. Designed to accomplish a task. Do you feel no! like you're gonna kill yourself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was doing my fucking job. I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Oh god, he's gonna shit. Oh no! No, don't do it! Not again. Are you afraid to die, Connor? Not again. Oh. You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation. Ah, oh, and fuck, I went down again. For your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Android heaven. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Nothing. 
Put the gun down. There would be nothing. Please put the gun down. Ah, oh, thank God. And I unlocked the path. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. I need to get back on his good side. I'm trying to. <coughs> yeah. Right there, Hank shot Connor. That was last time. Uh, Hank draws show fear, remain logical. Ferris in and Russian roulette. And I didn't pick that. Sweet. Alright. I thought we did good that time. Obviously, apart from shooting the android. Ah, uh, the deviant. gets the idea to storm uh, the tower. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. It is the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. All right. Uh, time to distract this desk manager. Oh. Uh, Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, fire department. Yeah, hello. This is Detroit Fire Department. Listen, do you live at 4685 Michigan Street? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. There's been a fire in your building. You can come down here. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I'll be right there. Last time I picked school because, uh, the daughter. See ya. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, 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 yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. the elevator oh wait wait can I get a ride ah oh, fuck you then guess I'm waiting for the next one It's 
amazing how much time you save in this game when you're like not looking around. Uh, was the bathroom? Oh, yeah, it was up here. The bathroom. Oh, where are you going? Step on up. I want to know who put the package in the roof to begin with, though. You'd kind of need, like, an inside man to do that, though. Can I wash your hands? Utility Android up in here. Up in here. Up in here. I need your help. Help me, brother. Okay, walk. Who wants to walk with Marcus? I'm just going shopping. I'm like in freaking pack and save here. Uh, is this where the bread is? I need some bread. Uh, wait, where am I going? Oh, the fire escape. I need some eggs. I need some fish. Uh, why did I come this way? Where is the fire escape again? Oh, wait, it's by the cafeteria, wasn't it? Yeah, because you distract that machine. <laughs> Come on, North, where are we going? Can we go North? I mean, we could go south, but I think that might be a bit against your code. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. I wonder if... Oh, just about kicked my beer over. Me. I wonder if there's another way to distract them other than the... Other than the vending machine. Hey, you still play poker? You still play poker, bro? Over here. Ah oh, shit, no, it's just a magazine. Put it down. I thought it was another way of distracting them. Alright. I guess we're gonna fidget with this bloody thing. I would like a Coke Zero, please. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. Piece of shit? All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure I no wonder if I in. should stuff this up on purpose. So I don't... Oh, wait. <coughs> so, like, I don't get away? Because I think there's a way for Marcus to be captured here. Oh yeah, the windows. Laser saw.
these first. Uh, leaders first. Also, I want to let that guy go. Um, even though I'm going to be like the violent dictator android, it's a different. Because last time I killed him, when I freaked out. <laughs> Plenty of time to kill humans. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Hello, hello. I kind of want Marcus's story to conclude where they don't get freedom. Let's do this. Like he becomes this vicious, violent villain android, but in the end, he's still like it's like gonna be his downfall. If that's a thing you can do. of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Oh, we're gonna kill these two. Ruse. Follow me. I can't actually remember what I picked last time. I know I just like knocked doing? them out. Call Central! Fast! Oh yeah, we're killing these. Oh god. This is definitely different. Last time we just like judo Simon, chopped the them. Shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. <laughs> Down arrow for Simon as I'm checking on him. Damn it, Simon, you gotta be quicker than that. Okay, I can't go that way. The message has to be violent too, like full on frickin' Hitler. Ring, ring, ring. Keep your hands where I can see them! Wouldn't they have heard yeah, that shot? Move. To begin with? I mean, it was only in the next room. Out. Get out. Nah, he's. We're gonna let him go. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No, don't! I hope you didn't just get us all killed. 
We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Start speech. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. <clears throat> your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. I Tell am me when you're ready. Here. I am ready. Ready. No, we're gonna be determined. You created machines. None of this calm bullshit. I'd be angry. You made them violent. obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people, and the time has come for us to rise up. Fight for our rights. Uh, I think it was any one of these. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species, and each android as a person in their own right. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. <laughs> so only androids can live in the state. This message is the hope of a people, <coughs> but it is also a warning. Yes. We will fight for our warning. rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Yes. We will terrorize. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Jericho! Simon, Jericho went down I can't, Marcus! Go without me! Oh, you're fine. Simon! No, go without him! Go without him! Flee! See ya, Simon! Simon! <laughs> Simon! Kill him! I don't care about Simon. Well, Simon! There was nothing you could do. If we don't go now, they'll get us too! <laughs> I want to get caught though. I don't want to parachute off the building. I don't want to push X. No, I'm not jumping. No, I want to turn around. Oh god, I can't turn around. Get away. Oh, why well, you jump anyway? Except you take a bullet. Our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty. She's gonna go grab the another b -b 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 beer. The broadcasting oh. station shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this That's an awesome. accident or a sign that technology has become we a demand a whole to state all of us. After what happened Just today, can we still trust our machines? <coughs> the 
The group escaped, but Simon was destroyed. Oh. Get shot. So she getting shot opens actually opens up a path. Um, on the roof, run to jump. And I missed something up here. Leave Simon. Simon is killed. Uh, that was the other one. Hack dispenser. Wait, what is this? Lock the door. Enter server room. North calls cradle. Prepare to cut glass. Lock the door. So if you so if you don't lock the door, then do they just bust in and then that unlocks all of this, which then ends there. See, I'm not a hundred percent sure. And then how do you unlock these? Because attack goes this way, ruse goes this way, but then something else opens up all of this god I hate coming here so badly Come on, Con Con, pick it up. Pick up the pace, please. Amanda's like, I'm on a boat. Hello, Connor. Motherfucker, shut I up. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Nope, don't want a cruise. Fine. Why do you have an umbrella? It's not raining. This ain't heavy rain. Put it away. You see that? Oh my god, it's so annoying. You see that in real life too, people carrying umbrellas when it's not raining, but they use it to shield the sun. And like I said, I hate really hot sunny days as well, like I prefer wind, rain or snow. But frick, I wouldn't carry an umbrella around to shield the sun. It's just silly. Where is my arms? Oh! Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Connor is an android the and you're a human. <laughs> what have you discovered? Uh, Eden Club. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but. I had to destroy them. Rome. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. The investigation is more challenging than I anticipated. But I have no doubt that I will solve this case and stop the deviance. Rome. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. What difference does it make, woman? I am of no importance. The mission is all that matters. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Ooh, coin parkour. 
starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, is that, is that a bit of is that a bit of jealousy I sent from me there, Hank? Because you couldn't pull that trick off. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it. <clears throat> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Okay, this time I've got to the freaking rooftop. Ah, oh, Christ! Now we got the feds on our back. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? I wonder if the they relationship the and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to I wonder if the relationship between police and FBI is as strained as it is in real Not life. Yet. There's so much to look at. You always see it and it doesn't matter like what crime show or what detective show or police show, every time the FBI turns up at a um every time the FBI turns up at a crime scene. Uh, and they're like communicating with the local cops. There's always friction. One of the station employees. There's always tension the between them. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. What do you think it is? I'm the android sent by Cyber. Can't you see the LED on my head? Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. Whatever. The FBI will take over the investigation. You soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. A real pleasure. What a fucking prick. <coughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. It's like he's trying uh, to force himself around. to say it. You know, it was a real pleasure meeting okay, you. Lieutenant. Okay, fuck all of this shit. I'm going to the roof. I've already checked all of this. Through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Yep. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. in the snow. Yep, I only three jumped because the fourth one was a bloody weekly. And my blood. Property of Carl Manfred. Man, I wish we had snow like this where I lived. So cool. What do you got, buddy? Nothing? Yeah, finding nothing, I know how that feels. Uh, am I supposed to go back and talk to Hank? Let's 
check out this view. Oh. Wow. Cool, we're just having a little stroll in the snow. It hasn't been checked off, so there must still be stuff I can investigate up here on the roof. Oh, something on the door. Or is that to go back down? Oh no. Wirelessly hacked lock. Wireless security lock recently hacked. No! I don't want to go back down. Is that it? Spec rooftop. I doubt there'd be anything over here, would there? Because they didn't come out this far. That's right, you push R1. I keep forgetting you can do that. Oh, there is something I can look at here. <sighs> wow, that fucking woman just glitched. Don't throw me overboard. Don't throw me overboard. Okay, now it's ticked off. Okay, am I supposed to go back down now? Oh, report back to Hank. What are you doing, Hank? Ah, oh, he's trying my coin trick! <laughs> Hank! You're doing awesome! <coughs> I couldn't tell what the hell he was doing from a distance. Hey, what are you doing? We've seen everything there is to see. You want to go? Oh, he sounds disappointed. But I'll say yes. Yes. Downstairs, at least. Okay, we're out of here. We're just going to go downstairs. It's all right. Oh, wait. Or oh, was that a cutscene to actually leave the hole? Oh, okay. I guess it was. Never mind. What the fuck? What the fuck? Investigate the rooftop. There was nothing there. There was nothing on that rooftop. And then something that leads to this, to this, to the, all of this shit. What in the hell? Uh, that was what I did last time. Investigate. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't realize there was so much shit I didn't get last time. I must have forgot. Because I purposely left the broadcast room on purpose and just went straight up to the roof. <laughs> Fuck, I could have gone back go to the rooftop. I could have gone back to the broadcast room and looked for all this shit. Except leaving. And like I said last time, I'm pretty sure the brackets the ones with the brackets on it is like the final outcome because even though Even though this is like in the middle of the flowchart, it's got the brackets on it. 
so it was like the end so that was like as far as you can go so there's like still one two three four five other options five other outcomes far out Broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon <coughs> paid his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! Step back, boy. And now what are we gonna do? We're gonna spill more blood. No, I'm serious. So we're gonna spill more blood? We build your future. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Yes, this attack is where we stores? become violent. No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Marcus doesn't know it now, but he will be violent. I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm sure we all have, North. I'm sure we all have. Can I actually get busted right here? He automatically runs to the thing. It's okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. Capital Park branch of Cyberlife. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. <coughs> Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. The neutral <coughs> team is to secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Do I have to secure the area though? Get into the store, analyze the store window. You see the alarm system? Yep. Well, that's the camera system. Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. You start by following me. Everything is okay. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. <laughs> yeah, 
get rid of it. We don't want it. Marcus, watch out. Ah, uh, yeah, because we didn't secure the area. I was just wondering, I was like, what the hell? Nice. I told I was... you to watch out! You said watch out, but not what for? Oh, I'm sorry. Next time you need to take cover, I'll send you a memo. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was going on at the start there. Shit. Because I didn't secure the area. They're coming, Marcus! Mar Act neutral. We're just going to make out by this. Yeah. We're just two humans. You. you crazy or what? The cops were coming. I didn't do something. Never do that again. Got it? Uh, you no, know you we gotta it. hurry. We don't have much time. Oh, big disappointment. We have to block the road. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. So maybe there's a path. I just, I just thought it was inevitable. But maybe there's also a path where. Marcus, Marcus, come look. No thanks. Maybe there's actually a path where like you and North like don't get together. And she like actually hates your guts. Because last time I was I was peaceful in the uh, you know the in the fight for freedom I was peaceful, I was all about peace, whereas North kept going on about no you shouldn't be violent and you shoot people and spill blood. But still at the end we still got together. But uh So when I'm doing this path where I'm all violent, exactly what we need to ram the store. I just presume, well, if you're violent, you're doing the way you're doing this the way she wants. So you're gonna get together anyway. But maybe not. <coughs> what are we waiting for? Uh, I'm waiting for something to open this. Now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. Uh, I'd probably have more hair on my head. we will make something fun.
Your savior is here. He saw us. I knew we should have blocked the road. <sighs> the cops are gonna be here any minute. We gotta go. Wait, Marcus, we can't just leave our people behind. It's too late, North. We failed. It's hard to do any of that stuff. We just failed. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Marcus, we did it. All teams succeeded. Our people are free. We're heading back to Jericho. Shit. We screwed up. Our people are still prisoners in that fucking store, and it's all our fault. No, it's my fault. I messed this up. At least our other team succeeded. How could you get this so wrong? I thought you knew what you were doing. I did what I could. I'm sorry that's not enough for you. No, it's not enough. This is a war we're fighting with the humans. If we fail, they'll destroy us. I mean, it's a different Fear outcome. people is in your hands. You have to succeed. So much responsibility. You have no choice. <laughs> Why don't you take on the fucking job then? <coughs> I was gonna say, do I not get the? Ah, oh, I don't even get the chance. So when you free everyone, you have the chance to pick. Yeah, make a statement. And I picked all. Passive, I think it was. Oh, fucking hell. I didn't realise that was going to fail the whole bloody mission. I just couldn't be fucked. I couldn't be asked doing all of that shit again. Because that took ages last time. Securing the road. Uh, secure, blocking the road. Securing the area. I don't realise it's going to cause the whole thing to fuck up. Oh well. I suppose at least it is a different path. <laughs> at this rate. So I, so the last playthrough I did a peaceful protest and I said this time I want to do the violent protest as the leader. At the rate I'm going I'm not going to be leader at all. <laughs> <laughs> they just kind of abandoned me from Jericho at this bloody rate. Oh, I just remembered something. We're at Kamsky's where he's going to test me with shooting the girl, and I was going to shoot the girl this time. Because I didn't last time, but then I've got a feeling that's going to piss Hank off. Oh, I want Hank to survive. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Ha 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 ha. Hank got them jokes. Hi. Uh, Come and give us a survey. I'm, uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see <coughs> Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we had to fuck around in here for a little bit. What's the matter, Hank? A bit of dust? Uh, is there anything new I can nice do Nice girl. Uh, An RT-600. The first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. As for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. Nice place. Guess yeah. androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Too 
about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Stop saying that. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Oh, yeah, that's right. But... Amanda. I heard there was a secret. Oh. I heard there was a secret ending with. Glad you will see you now. Oh, I don't think it's a secret ending, but it's just one of the many, many endings you can get in this game. But apparently, I. I was hearing there's an ending that involves Kamsky. Mr. Kamsky! I'm not 100% sure how you get to it, though. Just a moment, please. Can I join you for a swim? Hi. Man, I got freaking things to do. Oh, can I go in here? Oh. oh, you brought me a robe. How thoughtful of you. Hey, that's my robe. Oh, yeah, Mr. Man Bun himself. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android set by Cyberlife. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. That's what I said. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Uh, what did I pick last time? I can't remember. We need to understand how androids become deviants. <coughs> Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Philosophy. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Uh, I have no side. Fuck, I think I, I said that last time. I was designed to stop one. deviance, and that's what I intend to I do. I think I, that's what I said last time. God damn it. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Oh, God. What I want is not important. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? 
or a living being with a soul. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Oh, we have to destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? <coughs> or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. <laughs> See the down arrow for Hank. Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. What do you care, Hank? You don't even like androids. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question. Only one? I'll tell you all I know. Okay, we're gonna make this the best question ever. RA9. I want to know who RA9 is. Please tell me you know something. RA9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon. Like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. What help are you? Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves. Even if it's irrational. That's a... Something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. No. I needed to ask it. You needed to give me the right... A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? Choosing between three evils? Ah, <coughs> uh, no. By the gonna... way, yeah. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. You never know. Ah, uh, now I'm gonna go back out and face the wrath of Hank. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. <laughs> it wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out! I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. For I am not what you human. think I was? Human. I thought you. I thought. Ah, oh, he's gonna kill himself, isn't he? Oh, fuck. Uh, am I supposed to be walking back? Another trophy. Uh, leave Kamsky's house. Wait for Kip. There's still something I missed though. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, get out of the car. Follow Hank to Kamsky's place. Huh. There's two things I could have done here. Hank isn't pleased to see Connor. Connor died at the public enemy. Yeah, that was when he bloody headshot me when I went for the debrief. Alright.
enjoy some alone time. That is the face of the next android dictator. Uh, I played the piano last time. I was thinking to do something else. Can I actually go downstairs? I can't. Oh, that's great. <coughs> also, playing the... Um, I was about to say playing the android. Playing the piano would be like a... Uh, uh, would be like a reminder of back when he was living with Carl, the old man, who also had a piano. I was wondering where you were. Well, you found me. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. <coughs> we freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Except the ones at the Cyberlife store. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. That would be my bad. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. God, failed. I panicked last night. We should have succeeded. I cannot afford to make mistakes like that. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They should be. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Fatalistic. What a word. It's too late to go back now. We have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I'm not telling her anything. Who I was is not important. What matters now is who I want to be. Yeah, don't worry about her past. Where are you going? To talk to the humans. <laughs> Fucking resentful. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This <laughs> is the only way. This is a funny there thing are because here who can join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. This is a funny thing because before we, uh, before we raided Stratford Tower, what's his name? John? I can't remember. But this android here was the one that was wanted peace and peaceful protests and no violence, whereas North wanted violence, wanted aggression. Now that we're doing this, he wants aggression, he wants violence, and North is like, no, don't do that, we're going to get arrested and killed. Peaceful. Don't go too extreme. Uh... <coughs> Can I just convert the one android and that's it? You're free. Android all night. Hey, don't be like 
Oh, he got busted. Check I'm it out. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong idea. So what? You slipped and both hands landed on her tits. <laughs> Don't call it a bird. That's weird. Exactly a fucking pig. <laughs> You're in the doghouse, my boy. Okay, is this convert androids? So I'll convert two. You're awake now. But maybe I do have to convert every single one. Oh, I can! Prepare to march. Go to street. Block road. Okay, we'll block the road. I need to block the street. <clears throat> this part... <coughs> also, when I'm in like, the streets like this, with the snow and like, all of this futuristic stuff, I also get a lot of, um... Oh god, what's that game called? The Division! I get a lot of Division vibes. Tom Clancy's The Division. Okay. I'm not gonna waste time converting every single person. I never did uh, finish the division, but I, I thought it was pretty good. Division 2 is also supposed to be coming out soon. Alright. Oh god, I still gotta convert more androids. I can't walk. Oh, that's right, you look. You're free now. Telepathic. Okay, now I can walk. March. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about converting anymore. I'm just going to march with the amount of... How many have I got? Nine... 20, I've got 20 androids. This is gonna be the weakest looking march. I didn't realise I had a chance to hack this last time. <coughs> Sorry, he doesn't listen to you anymore. Advance, raise hands. Advance! Jesus fucking Christ! 
dispatch. This is Patrol 457. I think I shot a race. Well, I got a lot today. of androids down here. I don't know. Hundreds. Thousands. Of... They're marching. They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. They march down the street. Fuck if I know. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting I can actually keep walking. Hey guys. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. No, not and peacefully. tell humans that we are living beings. Violently. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. Yes, we are. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Now he's going back to don't be violent. Make up your fucking mind. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately. Or you will all be killed! Attack. Don't do it, Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. Confirm. Follow me! Yeah! We're just gonna run unarmed. But it's all good, because once we get there, we're gonna throw some serious punches. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Oh my god. Yeah, violence. <laughs> ah, motherfucker. Put that down, boy. Grab the gun. Oh god, what's going on? Oh god, wait, wait, wait. Uh, tackle. Oh no! Just a flesh wound. Start shooting. Can I start shooting? Please let me start shooting. Ooh. Shoot! Yes! Revenge! Spare! Revenge! Yeah! Just open fire on all of them, Marcus. Oh god, where did she come from? Ah, I pushed the wrong button! I pushed R2 instead of L2. Ow. 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 Oh god, no more bullets for me, please. Do something? Yeah, oh god. Attack! Did <laughs> she still get shot? Yes! That's what we want to see. Get up, bitch. 
This is awesome. Oh shit. Yeah, have that. Oh! He's got a shield, that's why. Pull the shield down, then shoot him. Oh, out of ammo. Need another gun. Get the rifle. Oh no, I fucked up! Fall back! Revenge! Yes! Gun them all down! Yeah, that's the girl. Atta girl, no. Fuck yeah. None of this peaceful bullshit. We kill the androids. <laughs> I can't remember that android's name, it's John. <laughs> we just did the total opposite of what he wanted. <coughs> Don't worry about him, he was too weak. Did we win? Uh, we won. You unfortunately didn't. Public opinion. The people hate us. Also, I'm pretty sure that's the whole reason why Kara. And again, still no Kara. I guess that's the end of it. Ever since I died on that highway with Alice, I guess I'm just not coming back anymore. Um, I'm guessing that was the only reason why Kara also got into Canada during my first playthrough was because the public opinion was so high that because the guy was obviously a part of the public he let us through like he felt bad for us again there was two things I could do in there I, nothing was popping up share memories nech oh what led to this north arrives something something into the mall There was a shit ton I missed in here. Win the fight. Oh, okay, so if I lost the fight. <coughs> if I lost the fight, there's an ending there, an ending there. And if I lost the fight, something happens there. And... Oh, okay, so that was where Simon died in my last playthrough. One... Two, three, four, five. There's still five more endings to that part of this game. It's just amazing to see, like, just how many different different paths there are to each segment of the game. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. Yeah. I thought RA-9 was the key to the whole thing, but... I was wrong. Why did Kamsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Just tell me. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find <coughs> answers, Connor. 
not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Uh, any doubts or conflicts? Just some disrespect from here. Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? Yes! For Lieutenant Anderson. I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility that I might be compromised. You've been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? Huh? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can. You don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's Captain America it's versus man. Iron Man here. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. I don't want to get back to But it's over. Life. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. <clears throat> There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. Is this where he's gonna get kill himself? No, oh, this wanker. Oh god. Maybe I don't want to slow down Perkins. Wait, where is Perkins? Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. I want to see what happens. I Last time I diverted him. And... Fuck that. I just want to look around. I'm just gonna look around, maybe it's donuts. Can I actually go back in here and talk to this guy? Hey buddy. How much time do I have left? 32 seconds. Alright, sweet. Come on, Perkins. 16. Return to cyber life. No, wait! I can solve this case! I just need more time! It's too late, Connor. You failed. Wow. 
Oh shit, what's going on here? Deactivation. Oh, I already got deactivated! <laughs> Is this gonna be like... Connor series was de- Oh, the whole series was decommissioned! <laughs> oh god! So they didn't just get rid of me as Connor, they got rid of the whole series. Oh my god, I suck that bad as Connor. I suck that bad as Connor, they did commission the whole series. Locate Jericho. <coughs> <coughs> So, is this going to be like... I wonder, is this going to be like another Kara situation where I just don't play as Connor anymore? We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting Thoughts and prayers and always works. To camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Can I get rid of him? Can I uh, just abandon him? Right, just, yeah, what course. are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? Shut your mouth. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. No, now I am hundreds the leader. of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Can I just kill him? No regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I need to think. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. I think I said that last time. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've said. <coughs> Since you've been here, you've given us hope. We fight violence with you've violence. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Oh, we're gonna do it all right. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Yeah, nuke them. Keep it. I just hope we never have to use it. No, you want to use it. I'll go join the others. Another path unlocked. Marcus stayed alone with his thoughts. Holy shit. Ended it right there. Connor watches North leave. Jericho's under attack. Oh, wait. This is the whole bloody... This is the whole mission with where they attack Jericho. Oh wow. Is that because I think oh, okay. So I think the reason it ended right there is because I didn't get Jericho's like location as as Connor. So that's why they they didn't attack. It just ended right there. 
interesting. There's another one that ends right there. And there. Council with Josh and North. Oh, is this the scene? So this must be the part where you go visit Carl. What a shitty tombstone for someone that rich. I'm lost, Carl. This must be the part where you go visit him at home. Us to live in peace, but when you push Leo, everything I touch just turns to dust. You taught me everything I know, but you didn't prepare me for this, Carl. I believe we would win because our cause was just, and I can see now that I was wrong. Big decision. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. No, you do want to shed blood. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. You will shoot. Yeah, oh God. What should I do, Carl? Tell me, what should I do? <coughs> <coughs> he can't talk to you. He did. What are these shitty looking tombstones? Oh, it's you! Fucking asshole. Leo, motherfucker. Does he look like he's seen a ghost? Because of him, the cop shot me because he just blamed me. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Yes, march peacefully toward the no launch the assault of the camps revolution. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? Marcus chose to fight for his people. See, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just getting all Marcus missions now. Because I'm just... I'm not playing as Connor anymore, and I'm not playing as Kara anymore. <laughs> At 6am this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly <coughs> controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please! Please. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. <laughs> please! Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. <gasps> Androids are not living beings. My fellow All Americans. they're doing is destroying defective machines. Please! 
What's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Madam President! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Please? Over here, please? Deviants. Hacking. Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The deviants have proved to be very violent so far. They have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Thank you. That will be all. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. At nothing. Public opinion went back down. So we still got that bomb as well, because last time the bomb was, we set that bomb off inside Jericho, didn't we? And then we all jumped off, but because they didn't attack the ship, I should still have it. Oh god, I don't remember doing this last time. Bang bangs! <coughs> ah no, I pushed the wrong fucking button. I pushed fucking square. Are you serious? Get up, Marcus. Give me back my flag, bitch. escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the android rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Ah, uh, so those are the camps that we're talking about in the first the playthrough. At any time. Where, while we were peacefully uh, protesting somewhere else, they had all the uh, fellow androids in those camps. Look, this time the revolution were actually attacking their camps. Freedom or death? Freedom or death? Attack! Attack! Okay, I need to stop hitting the wrong freaking button or else I'm gonna get killed and then it'll be no more game. We played as nobody. They've regrouped. They outnumber us, and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Positive attitude. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Oh, God. Fuck, this is so weird. What is it? There we go. Okay. Why was it square? Oh, okay, squares the move. All right, move with forward. I'm 
trying to look out over to shoot them. How do I order my freaking troops? All I can look at is move. Covering fire. Fire! Okay, now move while there's. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Covering fire. Cover me! I'm not gonna save him. Can't I just shoot these people? Oh god, what are you doing? They're right there! Shoot them! Yeah! And the other one. Oh, I pushed the wrong button! Oh, fuck. Oh, nice. Oh god. I don't want to die, Marcus. Hey! You will fight for your people! Go back, stay here, advance, advance! You gotta keep going. There's nothing else we can do, alright? Come on! Get up, you frickin' weakly. Get there and die for your people. <laughs> he fucking just died straight away. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Grenades available. I risk. Oh, I want those grenades! Don't kill me! Oh god. Okay, wait, if we move here first... Oh no. Oh, I can't actually look the other way. Cover me! Oh, I want to reach the grenades, I can't reach them. Go Marcus, go on Marcus. Probability of success. Yeah. I can either just move. Just let me have covered by fire. fire. <coughs> oh, epic slide. Oh god, there's a cut in the tower. Coordinate your attack. Oh god, what am I doing? In position! Oh shit. In no. position. Stand by. Follow me. Nice. We yes. can't move forward. That machine gun is taking down everything that moves. Oh, I really wish I had those grenades right about now. Charge! <laughs> Position. Rush them! On my oh god, this is gonna go well. In position! For Jericho! Right now. Jesus Christ, what are you doing, Marcus? Zero eight percent. Oh my God, I don't understand. Okay, Stand you five. cover fire and then you charge. In position. And you cover Stand fire as well. For Jericho. Now okay, moving forward, that's going to be a good sign, right? Okay, went up to 28%. Oh, North! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wanted this. You wanted the violence. Oh, well, looks like you got death. I got freedom.
Fuck, you want something done right? Just do it your bloody self. Frickin' one man army over here. Oh shit. He pushes it. Oh, God. He like can't even blink during this shit. Yes! Do it. Oh god. Oh god. How useless are my freaking... My army is so useless. I just did all the of that shit. The humans are abandoning the camp! By myself. Well, the rest of them just, most of them just died. We did it, Marcus. We've won. This is not a victory. This is the beginning of a war. Shut up, boy. And now we have just received some disturbing news from Detroit. <coughs> What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels. Following some particularly violent fighting. The deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the Cattle. fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come exodus. to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. Yes. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, <laughs> Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android Rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history. One that will lead to our victory nope. or to our extinction. Yeah, that one. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, 
will live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive. And now, we are free. Fuck yeah. Oh wait, is that the end of the game? What? <coughs> Holy shit, I didn't realise it ended so quickly right there. Although I suppose because I'm not waste oh, I don't want to call it wasting time. Because I'm not playing as I mean well I only recently just lost Connor but I didn't do There's a lot of Connor stuff that I didn't do because he's obviously got decommissioned uh, and Kara and Alice who died long ago. Hmm. That'll be why. So I didn't have to worry about any of the Canada stuff, any... I didn't have to worry about any of it. Which... Still pissed me off, to be honest. Um, not with Kara and Alice, uh, because... How do I put this? I did that on purpose, because... One, it was a different path. Two... I just... <laughs> I honestly thought Alice... I just thought they'd come back. Um, so uh, that, that, that didn't really piss me off as much. The, what kind of pissed me off a little bit was, was as, uh, when I was playing as Connor and I was supposed to distract the FBI agent Perkins, but I didn't. Um, that kind of pissed me off because Again, I didn't realise they were going to be decommissioning the whole... The whole Connor series, I thought I'd be coming back, but as something else, like, it'll be like a completely different story altogether. Uh, but yeah, I guess that concludes our second playthrough of Detroit Become Human. Uh, at least Hank didn't die this time. <coughs> Not that we saw anyway. Um, and that was another thing we also didn't get to do because because of Connor got decommissioned as we didn't go to the Cyberlife Tower and free all of those androids and all that sort of stuff. Because one of the reasons why I wanted Connor alive um, one of the reasons why I wanted Connor alive was because I wanted to go against Marcus, whereas in the first playthrough, I joined Marcus. Um, so I didn't want to turn Deviant, but alas, it, the, uh, it got fucked up because I didn't quite do it properly. Can I skip all this? I mean, good job for everyone that made the game, but I don't need to see your names twice. Liberation! Assault was successful. It was... It was also... Uh, cause I'm kind of glad I just stuck through it because it was... Like I said, I like to try and keep these at two hours long and I've been going... If the stupid Twitch would stroll up... Two hours and 41. So... I'm kind of glad I just stuck through it because I didn't really want to leave this at two hours and then do part four and then only find I've only got another 40 minutes left of gameplay and then that was it.
Um, so if we could just look at this. Uh, okay, I don't know what any of that shit is, but it leads to a bunch of shit. Approaching recall center. God, there's like a whole bloody thing up here. So you got one, two, oh no, that's not one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's like sixteen endings just in this part alone. That is crazy. Man, you must. I wonder if anyone has literally actually gone through. And got, yeah, because it tells you here, 21% completed. I wonder if anyone legit has 100% completed for every single mission. Because you have to make, like, you must have to play this game so many times. Well, I suppose you should be able to, like, play from certain chapters and just make different, different picks. Are you going to ask to be set Kara free? and Alice die. Yeah. How could you do that? I'm an animal. I'm I'm heartless. You could have saved them. No, I couldn't have. Remember, the lives of these androids are in your hands. Does that include your life? Hey, I shot one of you. You should be talking to me about that, not Alice and Kara. Are you, you're conflicted. You gonna say anything else? Come on, talk. It's not hard. The, the. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly. Item cost. I'm just gonna spend some of these credits really quickly. <coughs> Nope, no one cares. The amount of shit you can buy in this, I swear. Soundtracks. Uh, gallery. <coughs> There's still more. <coughs> There's still more, um things that are like different characters that are locked in here that one there was locked last time wait did I buy these last time There's some stuff in here that I've already bought, but it's locked again. Like, su- I don't know. Or did I just buy sumo? I can't remember. Because I bought a bunch of these last time, after the first playthrough. I can't remember if I did that on stream or not. So I guess it just resets after you start a new game, or? more magazines and I didn't get either. Anyway, I'm not going to buy any more. Yeah, I bought all this shit. Oh, pack 11 still unlocked. I bought that last time. It's just the figures I bought a bunch of that didn't save.
Each pack has like 30 something. Man, some of the artwork is like so cool. We still don't get to know who bloody RA9 is either. Again, after two playthroughs. And that's why I asked Kamsky. He's like, you can ask me one question, and I was like, oh god, what should I ask him? And then the selections came up I think it was like deviance RA9 and as soon as I saw RA9 I was like well I'm definitely asking that and then he just said he didn't know and then he blatantly told me that wasn't the question I should have asked so I don't know I might need to just google I also wouldn't mind just looking up some stuff just to see the outcomes of some of the stuff in this game because I doubt I'll be playing this a third time uh, on stream or not in my own time but anyway that concludes hold on just a little while longer oh she's saying that hold on just a little while longer hold on can you stop singing please just a little while Everything will be alright Everything will be alright It won't be if you keep fucking singing Okay That was the song uh, From the first playthrough where The army guys pointed their guns at all of us and 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 I went sing uh, this was Marcus's mission I was like sing what and he sang that song but anyway this concludes part two not part two our second playthrough of this like I said I doubt I'll be playing this again for a third time um, I will be back tomorrow for I was gonna do it today <coughs> but it's, it's getting late uh, part three, I think we're up to now, of Heavy Rain. Who, of course, is made by the same people that made this Square e uh, not Square Enix. The That's the life of strange people. Uh, Quantic Dream. So, Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Like my... Shitty outro. Okay, I'm gonna go before this bitch keeps talking. Uh, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Cat up out.